Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, so we got a lot of stuff going on here uh, tonight. I have to have to kind of get organized with how with how we want to do this. Um, yeah. So let's start with this thing. So again, we got there's a lot of sports going on, a lot of sweats, a lot of just stuff. So let's just start with this one where I, I need kind of something right away. Oh, they're actually pinch hitting for Bobby Witt. That stinks. Well, that's not good. Um, but let's 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 fire it up first. Hey, what's up, Joanne? So let's uh, let's share the screen here. And the first thing we're going to look at is this FanDuel um, squeeze. This is the lottery, and I'm in sixth place. I'm I'm like one kind of like home run really away from first, and I just have one more at bat for my Royals here. But it looks as though they just oh they did not pinch it for Bobby Witt, did they? Maybe they did. No, no, they're pinch hitting for Garcia. So it's three and two, nobody out. So he's going to get up for sure. All right, so Garcia is going to fly out. So it's a run around second with one out. And we're going to be getting Bobby Witt and, and Pascantino unless they pinch hit for him, which is certainly possible. Um. So, an MLB construction video? Um, yeah, I do that every day um, at like six. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, that, that to me is easy. I love doing that one. Okay, so Bobby Witt is up. Uh, he, and then I'm going to get, what's his name, Pascantino also. With one out. So let's just, no, Furman is up. Oh, they are pinch hitting for him. God dang it. What's happening? So that's a little concerning. All right. So while that is kind of busting, let's take a look at some, some good news here. So first, let's take a look at the hockey and then we'll get back to some baseball as Geloff just hit a home run. Do I have him? I don't know. We're, we're going to find out. But Geloff just hit a home run for Oakland. I did have some Oakland, but I just don't think that I have him, which is going to be a little gonna be a little tilting. Yeah, I don't. Crap. Um, nonetheless, so this is hockey. This is this is the big buy-in. And so I'm 18 points away, but I have 40 whatever, and it's all these – all these St. Louis guys. And there's another hockey, which is doing even, I think even better, which is the kick save. Well, that's in second. And in second here, we have, we are, you know, we're like, like a half a point away from these guys, except Hofbrau King has a lot more, a lot more minutes. So we have that. And then we got to take turn on. Well, Pasquantino is up. I'm going to need him. So then in the – I'm cashing right now in this uh, Mega 8. Um, I mean, nothing major, but – we have Yen Lang uh, Langoliers coming up. So I have him. So Langoliers is up here. And then I need Pascantino for that fan duel thing. 2 and 0 on him. And he hits a single. Is that going to be an RBI? Is he going to come home? He is going to come home. It's not going to be enough to get me into first, but uh, might get me to move up a little bit. With the Pascantino here depends how much you know maybe maybe get me into into fourth maybe that would be nice and then if we could somehow get up to Velasquez I can get one more 
I get one more poke out of him. Uh, oh, we'll get to all these questions. Okay, so was that Fan 11 contest since your hand built? Uh, no, this is, these are all from Saberson tonight. Um, so let's see if this gets me up to fourth. It should. Yeah, so this gets me up to fourth for 2K, which is good. Now, again, we got to hold off like these other, like this BK Ryder, what did he play, Milwaukee guys? Yeah, I don't know. You know, that that's a tough, man. It's, it's uh, that was actually one of Bobby. That was one of your uh, possible uh, leverage plays, but I, could, I couldn't do it. I mean, like, I didn't know the game was going to go off and all of it. Anyway, good for him. I mean, he's probably going to win. Nonetheless, let's see how many points we can get to before we kind of fade off here. Oh, man, um, that's too bad. It's going to require, you know, getting to getting Velasquez up. So Texas is now no. What did wait? What did he do? What did uh, Langoliers do? It's a good question. Looks like Langoliers didn't do anything. God dang it! So this is looks like we're we're competing for the min casher here, which is okay. Um, NBA. I mean, I shouldn't have played the NBA. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of changes I didn't even notice. I mean, I'll I'll show you what my best NBA lineup is. I mean, in in the in the what you call it? Let's see the fade away. I mean, I have. I mean, nothing really. I mean, I don't have anything good, honestly. I mean, Lillard is you know, whatever. So yeah, so the NBA is not going to be not going to be the 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 thing. Um, but maybe we get this this hockey thing going. Make up some uh, make up some distance over there. Let's take a look and see who is doing well. By the way, as we watch Blade, let's see let's see who's doing well. Like in the Mega Eight, for example, and we'll get to all these questions uh, Jeez, regarding like the a PGA. Springboard like, night to your so, uh, your Masters wins. Coming up, yeah, it's like you're having a good night. It's a, it's a springboard night. Yeah, to the million coming. Well, let's see. So this is so. Let's see who is doing well in this mega eights here. It's, it's impossible to tell. I mean, it's just like everybody's live, you know. And and these Milwaukee play people that played Milwaukee or remain live. Um, so so Oakland's still threatening here, top of the eighth. Um, Stroman had a had, boy. Stroman got crushed. <laughs> wow. Uh. Cease was good enough, and Kansas City just took it to Houston. Um, okay, yeah, the NBA. I'd love to. I'd love to see who's winning the NBA because, like, that's. Let's see what happens. Let's see the NBA sports fade away. Let's look at the fade away. See who's doing well in that. And this is hard to tell too. Let's see. Let's see who these guys to crush that I didn't have. Uh, I mean, Terrence Mann, quickly. The Ra- boy, the, the Laravia was only ten percent. Wow. Thought all those Memphis guys were going to be really chalky. Lamar Stevens, M. Williams, whoever that is, for Toronto, had thirty. Okay, so it looks like oh no, I, you know I hate the MLB TV because they they I think it's live and they're showing a replay. Bunchero, no, Collins he just did okay, forty five percent. I guess Lillard if they decide to leave him in for the last six minutes, which I don't I don't know why they would. They're up What's twenty. How was they down by? They're up. They're up twenty. They're up twenty. Oh my god, they were. Oh yeah, that's right. They were up. They're up big. Yeah. Yeah, they're up 26 minutes to go. I mean, I can't imagine why they want to leave them in, but um yeah, so I mean it was stupid to play the NBA, but I did anyway. Uh Port Portis 50 fantasy points. That's not terrible. Um so let, let's let's take the holiday season. I don't know what was the holiday season. I don't know what even what that is. 
like yeah. maybe because like it's the masters and it's like a big deal no no no, no. What? no this this holiday there's a, there was a holiday play in baseball i think or something oh, oh jackson holiday yeah they're the rookie that's not holiday's kid oh is that right one prospect basically in baseball well depends on who you ask but yeah so somebody on St. Louis scored again. Is that one of mine? I don't know. Let's see. Well, you went up a little bit. Something happened. Yeah, these hockeys are uh, – these hockeys. Yeah, so I'm in second, third, and fourth in the lottery in hockey. So we got we to gotta, we gotta find a way to catch to catch this guy. Um, we're only down by two, two points. So this is this – is, uh, oh, this, this is a war. All right, let's go. This is a total war. I love it. Um, and this guy's really good, the Hofbrau King, too. So we'll, we'll we'll battle him a little bit later. Um, okay, so let's get to questions. Then I'm gonna do the, some uh, some hockey. I mean, some uh, the golf. <sighs> the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to not. Not not attributed to you, but I, I'm going to ignore the injuries. Uh, I'm I'm just going to presume that everybody's playing, um, and um, and that's just going to be what it is. I'm going to presume Akshay's playing. I'm going to presume Min Lee's playing, and I'm going to presume that that Justin Spieth is playing. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with that. I just don't want. I just don't want to have a lower owns of any of those three guys get there without me on them. You know what I mean? Like, cause all three of those guys in different ways. Yeah. Have a lot of upside, you know? <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm going to eat, you know, if I get a couple of zero, you know, if, if they do somehow withdraw from the masters, how awesome that Akshay like wins a seat to the masters and then drops out. You know what I mean? Like, Let's just put it this way. It would it would be because of what I said. Like you said, do you really think they might not play? Well, if they're really hurt, they won't play. You know, so it's possible. But um I mean, the last time he said it and he was questionable, he's he's finished tenth and in, in sixth. Are you talking about Spieth? Yeah. I was thinking about, about, about Baccia. He like literally wins the seat and then it's like Yeah, I can't imagine Baccia won't play now. Will it can it affect him? Sure. But I, I don't think he's not stepping out there. And Min Wu said today, like he said, it's a miracle. I feel like a miracle happened. So yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I'm I'm fairly you know spread out a, a lot on my ownership, but I'm also doing a lot more wave stacking because of the weather on Thursday and Friday. So it's gonna probably benefit certain waves and certain groups depending on when they have to stop and when they don't, and when they start and all that stuff. And my thinking is to try to get the players I like in the groups around each other. And I thought that would, I, I actually think it makes a lot of sense for these types of tournaments when there's, when there's weather for two days. The problem is usually it's, it's helpful because you're trying to figure out cut makers and there's clearly one way of weather that's better, but we don't exactly have that because we don't know exactly when they're going to start or when they're going to finish each day for the first two days. Right. What, what's the, what's the current forecast? So we made, made the cut, made, made the cut, just a lot of wind and, and rain over the next couple of days. No, but is it like threatening to 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 be delayed? Is what I'm saying. Not on not on Friday. So, but like in the ma Masters, then like other courses, like tends to play a little bit closer to the same. Like whereas generally the afternoon on day two is always going to play harder than the morning on day two. Like just because it, everything firms up, and you usually have more wind in the morning than in the, I mean in the afternoon than in the morning. So here are a couple of ways that you can play this slate. All right, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna screw around with this and again you talk about process. These are just these these are some ideas um, where which which you can use the, using the same uh, same tools that I have. Right, so let's just say you have my sheets or whatever it is. So this is what I get right from the from like the site. So one thing that I've tr that I've threatened to do, and I I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay is to just, you know, take my top plays and just shuffle them. So how do you do that? Well, there's a couple of ways you could do that. I could just upload them all and then just X them all out before before running my builds. Um, and, yeah, you can do that. 
Um, another way to do it is just only upload the guys that you want to play. Um, but I think that, um, but just to show you how you can do that. So let's just say, for example, I, um, let's say sheets value score. Let's, let's find, let's find like a break point where there's like a drop. And I'm just, I'm not saying you have to do this, but just to kind of show you, let's say you get to, I guess here. Okay. Um, let's say you only want to play 20, but that's a little bit too few. Um, and let's say, let's, let's say right here. So 28 golfers, let's say you want to play all the way down to Baccia. So what you could do is, is you, you, you start here, you go upload, and then you could just literally just, I'm just cutting pasting from the other side. So you could just, this is like, again, kind of a saber sim trick. You go just those, and then you go with just the projection you don't really need ownership's not going to matter here because you know what I mean? Like you're just playing these guys and then you click exclude unlisted players. Boom. And then when you save it, it literally only has the guys, everybody else is zero. It goes in here. So now what you could do if you want, I mean, let's just say you wanted to play 150 with just those guys. What I think is probably a decent idea to do I was going to say is to probably do a minimum salary. Um, actually, not with this many. Like, if you only were dealing with, like, 12 guys, you would want to do a minimum salary because you don't want to get, like, six guys at 7K, okay, um, if they happen to be in there. So why don't we just, like, just see what we would get. Like, if you just played, like, the tw 28 golfers, do nothing else, and then we just, like, rebuild the lineups and see, see what it looks like. Um and, and again, I, 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 I thought about, you know, a lot of different ways you could attack the Masters. Because remember, the Masters is, is very predictive as far as course history goes and all that stuff. So the projections are, as golf goes, probably going to be okay. Um, but it's, listen, it's a, it's a short field with, with a zillion people playing the tournament, you know. So, so if you want to get different... Um, you're going to have to try to invent some way to do it. Now, as we run this, remember, think about it from showdown for a second, everybody. Like, what, what are what are ways to get different in, like, like, if you're trying to force your way to get different? One is to force yourself to have low ownership, okay? And a second is to leave money on the table, like, on purpose. Um, and, and you could, you could argue that that both, both approaches – have their have their own merits, and if you want to leave money on, if you want to, you know, force ownership, you could do that geo mean filtering stuff that I talked about, and and I'll show you what that looks like. And the thing about leaving money on the table, the only issue I have, and this is not whatever, is that I I don't I don't know how much to leave. You know, I, I mean, not that I, I can't guess, but you really are just guessing, right? Like. Like if you say that I want to leave five hundred on the table, I, I guess that's fine. But but why five hundred and not seven hundred? You know, like why seven hundred and not two hundred? I just don't. And this is my you know my my own my own demons. I I'd like to be able to give some guess as as why a certain you know amount is being left on well, the table. The only thing a hundred more every time should get you more unique. And that would be an argument in a 470,000 person tournament. Say that one more time. The argument would be that every hundred extra league you leave on the table gets you even more unique. And that in a hundred in a 470,000 person tournament. Right. But how many? But like, how, but so how much should because I leave? Is, like, I, like, I, like, I, like, okay. So, like, if this was a full field and there was 160 players, yeah, I would, I would say, Man, I honestly don't know. I think it's a different. That's, well, that's my point. I, you know what I mean? Like we're we're both making intelligent guesses here, yeah. but that's all they really are. You know, right? They're just, yeah, they're just guesses, 100%. and that's why that's why it bothers me a little bit. Um, um, do you think that there's gonna be like? Do you think you should worry about about like dupes? You know what I mean? Like I, I never really worry about that too much in golf, but for so many people in this tournament. It's like the, the $10. It's, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to have 490,000 people. Yeah, I know. It's going to happen. Yeah. 
you're going to so see I, a lot of them. But you so won't see like a lot of like, you won't see like 50 person lineup, what some of the 50 right. or 60 people have. Right. But you'll see like a few. Right. In certain cases, especially if you, if you spend all your salary. Whereas if you leave 400 on the table, you're already going to be differentiating yourself from what? At least 75% to 80% of the field. So another, so another thing that you can do, and this is kind of like, like sort of tricky. Um, let's say, okay. Let, let, let's, let's say that you liked, and this is like an MMA trick. So I have to give like a good example of this. Okay. Like here's one. So let's say that you liked um, Tommy Fleetwood. Okay. But you're worried about him being like a little bit, you know, too high owned, you know, what you could do is this. Like if you presumed a lot of people are using similar projections, doing whatever, like you see here that, that, that the gala is projected a little bit higher, but he is 200 hours more. So what you could do is just take the, take Fleetwood and in your Fleetwood lineups, leave 200 on the table because what the optimizer is going to do is going to give those optimizer people the gala in those lineups, and, and and so you're going to get a little bit, little bit better differentiation um, if you play Fleetwood and leave 200 on the table, for example. Now again, it's not the difference is MMA. It's always like very few guys to compare to, you know, um, like Corey Connors and like Terrell Hatton. Like in and of themselves, they're both going to be pretty popular. But, like, I don't know. Like, if you play Connors and leave money on the table, maybe that's the, that's the way to play those kind of popular underdogs. Um, sure. You know, uh, that's the thing that's so weird about golf. Like, there's no leverage. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's playing against each other. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's a, it's a, it's. Now, tell, tell, so tell me what you learned about the waves and, and who's playing when and, and whatever. I don't know how to tell you that because that's would take an incredible amount of everything. I don't know how to, how to do it. Oh, okay. I'm just saying play because it's all about the tee times and all the playing players in like the same groups. If you can, if I've got Burns and Young, why not play them? And they're in the same group. They're going to have the same whatever weather happens together. Um, you know, things like that. But like, it's really I'm not saying one group is better than the other. I'm just saying, and I think the weather is indicating that, but I do think getting different groups is a, is a good idea just when what, there's what, what, do you mean, what do you mean getting different groups? What does that mean? Getting different groups that are tee off in similar wi windows, say within two hours of each other, if you can, for most of that lineup, and then try to adjust it the other way for the other ones. If you're going to play Fleetwood, play them with the afternoon guys. If you're going to play Lowry uh, at – 100 you know at 80 at 8k play him with the the no play him with the afternoon guys too play fitzpatrick though with the morning guys and lowry with the afternoon guys they're 100 apart that's that's the example of what i'm saying so there's so so just so you know the result of this lineup build like if you play this way like you, if you limit yourself to 36 golfers you just kind of run it like with nothing else then i'd be getting like for example like 85 percent to shambo 78% Shoffle, and then like a whole, you know, and then a bunch of Fleetwood, Fitzpatrick, and Hatton. So what this does, for better or for worse, right, it 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 it, it, it commits you, right? <laughs> it, it totally commits you, but then, like, it gives you, like, a bunch of good combinations, you know, if you're right, you know? Do you have any 6K players in you that you allowed to be on here? What's that? Did you allow any 6K players on here? I didn't do it that way. Uh, I did not actually. This particular build, I just literally rated my guys. Oh yeah, I did. I, I got Benny on. I allowed. Okay. And uh, what was it? Did Fitzpatrick? Did 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 what's his name make it? I don't think um, the other guy made it. I don't think McCarthy made it. Um, yeah, Benny on was the only guy that actually made it into the six Ks. So again, like, like I, I, what what this is doing is this is this is not playing like a bunch of guys. And if you're not playing a bunch of guys, then you're usually not playing the 6K guys. 
And this is like one way to play. And, and I, I, I kind of talked through this earlier and it doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? Cause all I'm really just playing chalk, but what I'm doing is just really covering like, like a lot of the combinations. If in fact the chalk hits, um, and I just can't imagine that being the case. So I don't think I'm going to do this. Um, I don't think I'm going to play that way. I think I am. I'm going to extend the player pool, you know, to as many as as many as possible. You know, um, now what you could do, like for example, oh here I did get Tatum McCarthy, so I did get like twelve percent McCarthy here. But but did you um like what you could do? Like again, you, this is more your 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 style, I guess. Is is you could you could set like minimums of like min like one six k guy in every lineup if you wanted. You know, or, 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 you know, make a group of, 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 uh, of yeah. like five, six Ks or whatever. And just make sure that you get like a certain percentage of the six Ks. Because like you said, I mean, you, you said that you, you looked at like previous results and there's just always seems to be one in there, you know? Um, yeah, this year it's been at least two. Um, and, but, but it's different obviously for this tournament specifically, but there are guys in there like Sergio Garcia, you know, who, can absolutely can you know can compete in this tournament you know what i mean um there are guys in the 6k's you know adam moronk i think we, we liked him but i really like taylor Moore. um and you know there's mccarthy i like lucas glover um i like a lot of guys down there and it's 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 interesting trying to build with the waves because most of the high price players play in the morning, so you're going to get very similar builds if you try to do what I'm doing. So I'm trying to consciously not do that. I did not do any I, I, this week. I went I went rogue. I I went completely by hand. I will build over 500 lineups. Are you um, serious? That's awesome. Yeah. And I'm I'm whittling it down. I've been whittling it since Monday. Um, I'm ready. Oh, that's awesome. That's a, that's 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 commitment. It's interesting to me that my ownership is even as spread out as it is with doing that, you know? Yeah. And it's something I'm a little concerned about this week. I'm used to having more, more guys above 25% than I do right now. Yeah. So unfortunately, Hey, listen, I got another, I got another hit out of my guys, but then, then I'm going to run out of gas here. So Toro just got a single that, 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 that's, that did something. Um, but yeah, I'm going to need to get Texas up again. It's not going to happen. Um, if Toro, any other Oakland guys? Yeah. Not till Lingaliers. Yeah. If I can get to him somehow. Oh, I, um, yeah, but it's still, there's two outs. So we'll just see. And then again, like, oh my God, Milwaukee, at least this game is moving along. I thought there was still like the fourth inning or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I need, I'm not going to get swamped by all these guys. So what I'm doing now is, is I'm rerunning all these with all of the guys. Okay. And to show you a couple of different ways that you could just kind of get different artificially. All right. So this is the end of the open game. Open is over. Texas wins. I'll keep the Milwaukee game up here. Just for the hell of it. Morikawa back to back top tens. Yeah. Petey. I don't know. The optimizers do seem to be loving Bryson. Um, do I think he comes in higher own? Yeah, he has to. You know what I mean? Like he just he just has to. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Okay, so for what it's worth, regardless of result, if he does, like if you really think Bryson ends up like above 20% owned, I really think a lot of this is a mistake then. Because there is like if he stay if he stays below 20, okay. I feel like it gets to be what are we doing on a guy who's like not built for the, like, like, yes, he is capable of winning a tournament, but it's just like steamrolled in a way that I just feel like is a little bit, I can't entirely figure out why, but I, I, I totally agree with you, by the way, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I talked through it with you earlier you know, it just feels like so dirty. You know what I mean? Like he just hasn't, he's never done anything on this course. No. And, it's like and, and as I mentioned earlier, I mean, his game is like a freaking, weird state right now you know this is also this is dude this is a weird ownership projection by by saberson by the way they're 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 running hideki at 30 like the highest owned i i can't imagine that i think hideki will be the highest owned but i don't okay. think it'll be 30. uh i don't know if he'll be the highest owned i think scheffler will be the highest owned but i think it's going to be close I, I think it'll be scheffler it's just weird because I don't imagine like 
I, Matsuyama has never been above 20% owned or even close than the whole time I've played golf. <laughs> no, I know. Nobody ever plays him. In no, in nobody. Um, anyway, it's, it's weird. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know. It, it feels strange. I'm, I'm going to be below 30%, I'll tell you that. Um, I, I feel like 20% of him, at least there's more of a justifiable reason he's playing his best golf like maybe ever, and he's won on this course before, and like, there's a lot, of, a lot of good things there. Um, I also am not buying into the uh, that Hovland just can't. It, oh, he's lost it. I just I did not. Buy it. Yeah, the, Hov the Hovland stinks narrative is not doing it for you, huh? For some reason, I'm more on the. Well, at least I've seen what's his name recently, um, uh, Morikawa. The problem I have with Hovland is he was frustrated with himself because he he felt like he needed to change his game after the year completely because he couldn't. He, he just thought Scotty Scheffler was too much better than everyone. And he believed he was that that going to be that person. So so just to just to show you what I did just now. So it's, now I just ran everything with with uh, playing, keeping all the golfers, and I did the contest sim. And just so you guys know, you know the, the, the people have not seen you know have not uh, seen me do this before. You know I I I, I use the for the field lineups to compare everything to. I'm using kind of like my own builds. Okay. Um, like for example, like, and and like if I'm going to use my whole pool, maybe that's not the best idea because because I'm using a pool where Deshambo is going to be thirty five percent, and I even though he's going to be popular, I don't think that I can assume he's thirty five percent owned um, for the purposes of this. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I am going to change these to just the regular just saber sim ownership and we're going to do that that's how that's the field we're going to compare it to and again all i'm trying to do right now is just figure out like how i'm going to use the sims if at all all right so let's let's do this and then we're going to run the contest sims and then what we're going to do is then we're going to really try to dechalkify this like after the fact okay so let's just see um so wait, MLB is over. Yeah, okay. Uh, the Blues game is over. Okay. And there's like another game that's still left to be played. So that's uh, whatever. Okay. So what my 150 would look like using the contest sims, using all this, and with Min Unique's one, for example, I'd be getting. Uh, is this the whole field or your players only? The whole. The whole, the whole field. Okay. Um, I'd be getting 42% to Shambo, 40% uh, Shoffle, and, and you know, this, the good plays. I mean, honestly, like the good plays according to my projections, right? Um, yeah, nothing that's low-owned in there. Um, that I'm right. Saying. right, exactly. I mean, you're getting some leverage because you're playing more than this in the field in some of these. And, but, and, and not having uh, – it looks like there's very little Scotty, from what I can tell. Uh, yeah, I don't – Oh, it looks like 16 or 18%, 90%. Yeah. So, Scotty would be 30%. Yeah, so so whatever this is, it is. So if you wanted to 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 to, to screw around, a couple of things you could do. First thing is you could do min unique stuff and, and 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 you crank up this and play as many min uniques as as they'll let you, pretty much. Um in and now so it'll let you at three, so you do one more and you go to like two. So min unique's two. And that's one way to do things a little differently, but it's still you're still you know, you, you still have a build, which is, I mean, you just have to be perfect. You know what I mean? And, and so how do you do this? So what did we talk about earlier with Showdown? Two ways to get to get different. One, leave salary, or two, just force ownership. So let's look at what leaving salary looks like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to filter. We're not going to rebuild, okay? We're just going to filter based on, on, on salaries. Meaning that if I'm going to leave, say, um, I'll pick up some number, like 600 on the table or something like that, um, I want to make sure that it's at least reasonable. And so, so in other words, I've, I've built 5,000 lineups. Like, if I can't find 150 out of 5,000, you know what I mean? Like, if you're not in the top 5,000, I probably don't want you, okay? So that's why I, I'll build the 5,000 first and try to filter into those rather than just make the rule before I build. Because if you make the rule before you build, you might end up like really just 
giving yourself a real tough go. You know what I mean? Like you really might end up like having to fight a lot of projections. So let's let's see what this looks like. If I sort by salary, I don't know, like less than forty nine thousand five hundred. And that's a, that's a lot to leave on the table, right? I, mean, I don't know. For all 150? Let's see. Let's see what it gets. So I can do it. Okay, that's the that's the first thing. Okay. So I can play 150 leaving 500 on the table. All right. Um you're forcing to leave it in. Okay. Yeah, forcing you to leave the 500 on the table. So you're getting like ownership of these. Now, now here's the thing that's interesting. So you're getting ownership of the same types of guys, but the the lineups with those guys are going to be more unique. You know what I mean? Be because you're not going to get the same combinations of the people, you know, of, of the you know, six high owned guys, but 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 you put those six together, it's not going to be that bad. So this is this is actually not the worst thing in the world. And what's, you know, what's something interesting is that even though I decided to leave 500 on the table, the number one lineup is leaving 700 on the table, um, mm -hmm. which is, which is sort of interesting. So this is one way that you can do this. And again, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making it up as far as leaving, you know, that little, that much on the table, but just, just for fun. Like what if I left, like a thousand on the table. I'm just curious if it'll even let me. Um, let's just see. Let's see. L less than 49,000. 49,000. Okay. Let's see. I don't think it's going to let me. It did. So I can get 150 leaving a thousand on the table. So, so, so if that's the case, like now the question is, what's the amount that I'm supposed to leave if I play this way? And this is where I run into trouble. You know, this is where I, this is where I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. This is what I'm unclear. Um, but listen, you guys figure it out. Great. Let me know. <laughs> right? mm -hmm. um, but this is certainly a way you can play that is playing the good plays, but, you know, play them, you know, combinatorily and, and you know, where, where your lineups themselves are not going to be as, as highly owned as kind of the sum of this, you know, some of the parts. The other thing you could do, is is do this geo mean filtering stuff and this is this is going to be really fun for this many people okay so like there's 470,588 people or or entrants in this tournament so if you do this use this geo mean calculator and this is not you know guaranteed or this is what it is but 400 and what we say 490 thousand so if you want to make it so that's at max one dupe right so using a geo mean you would need 11.2 so what you would do is you would take this you go add filter geo mean uh uh, uh less than 11 let's play human 11 save filter and and then you just kind of roll and that's how you end up with the jason days and the cam smiths and and the patrick cantlays you know what i mean and the chris kirks and all that stuff so this is another thing that you can do um uh as far as what i'm gonna do uh i i'm not sure <laughs> uh, and again, you can have some fun. I mean, I could play 75 lineups that, that leave money on the table and 75 lineups and do this geo mean filtering stuff. Or I could do 50 of, you know, that, that, you know, my concentrated best plays and then 50 leaving money on the table and 50, whatever. Um, but again, those are just options, you know, and this is, this is, this is sort of what makes this fun. Um, let's take a look at some questions here. The 800 rule. What is this? Uh, if you're throwing, okay, if you're throwing one lineup in the lottery, who are we starting with? Half to Scotty Wright. Um, I d disagree with that. Um, I think that if you're going to play one lineup in the lottery, I, I don't think I would play Scheffler, actually. But 
I think given one lineup, I probably wouldn't either. Yeah, I just don't think I would. You know, you know, you real. I mean, you're really supposed to play. I, I think you're just supposed to play Rom. I, I think that's probably the idea. I'm doing more of it than I thought I was going to. Yeah, I think. And remember, I, I think that baby thing is a real thing. It it does worry me. Oh, the Scheffler, yeah. Scheffler and Sam Burns. It worries me for both of them. Not enough to where I'm not going to play Scheffler, but still worries me. Yeah. And for those of you that were, were you know weren't paying attention, I mean, they both both of their 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 spouses are um, are expecting, and there's been some talk that if uh, you know if they give birth during the Masters, they're the the the, the golfers are not going to finish. Um, you know, it's up to you to figure out whether that's that's true or not. I'm I'm still a little still a little worried that I'm making the wrong decision with respect to these injury guys, but um, I think I think I'm gonna go with them. I just think I am. Let's see this kick save here. Let's see. Pamela, six points. What, what what else do we have here? Scheffler and who? Uh, Sam Burns. Sam Burns. Um, yeah, so it looks like I'm going to cash in, in, in the Mega 8s. Just, you know, going to cash in there. Let me see. I, I haven't checked FanDuel in a while. I'm sure that nothing's really picked up for me. But, I mean, I did have a couple of, well, I sh shouldn't say that. I was going to say I had a couple of swipes in that, in that. One fit in that uh, lottery thing, but that kind of faded away. Let's see. Yeah. Let's just see what this is. Uh, yeah, sixth. I mean, sixth is it's, sixth is rough, man. Six is a good. This is a good finish. If I actually finish there. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and I am gonna. And you talk not you talked me into it. Your mind you, when you told me that Fanduel was 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 running one hundred and fifty. I mean a hundred k. I couldn't help it. I I went with it. Love so it. I, played, I played the Fanduel also. Love it. Why not? Oh my god! I think I actually found something that makes sense here. It was tough to do, but I, I think it's gonna work. What? Oh, that's just lineup wise. Um, I was trying to get my big buy in. And I was struggling with something. That's why I was so quiet for a bit. Um, um, but, yeah. Are you playing um, any amount of Adam Scott worth mentioning? Yes. Okay. Adam Scott is my 10th highest owned golfer at 20%. Yeah. So. Um, to get a hat and line up in here. That's pretty awesome. And you literally straight up built like hundreds of lineups by hand. That's like that's like you to cow, you know, like uh I love it, man. I, I I it's it's different with golf for some reason. I feel like you can do it and it, it just makes more sense. I don't know. Well, that that would be a, that would be a live show to actually watch you do that. <laughs> That was uh, one of the original ideas a while back. Yep. Um, way, way back. But let's see. Um, can't do that. Let's... It's weird, though. I'm doing this stupid thing where I have these guys like paired together, these questionable guys, as if it's going to make a difference for one or the other. And then, like, even Scheffler and Burns, I find myself like, I'm like, oh, I'll play them together, I'll fade them in, in like my head. And I'm like, that makes no sense. They're not having the same baby. <laughs> like, Right. It's just my head is like, just like I to get when you listen to it and go through as much content, man. Uh, Scheffler and Burns, Sam Burns. Dude, this is like the ultimate lineup. Look at this. So this has both the injured guys, both the pregnant guys in the same lineup. Yeah, all, beautiful. All four, four of them. All go for the whole narrative. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I'm in on that. <laughs> Well, who are we kidding? Minwoo Min Min Lee isn't not winning this, but. He doesn't need to win it. 
That's that. You know what? That is that. That, that is a good point. <laughs> That is a good point. Um, and I'll tell you something else. Uh, you kind of like uh, you, you, your 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 comments at Hovland are, are, are a little are telling. You know what I mean? I, I don't mind having uh, having just the extreme overweight position on Hovland either. Yeah. What did he? What did he? What, where are you at? Let me see. Um, well, I'm just screwing around with different things right now. Like right, like like I I, I tried like a full geo mean Uber fade. And I end up with Hovland as my highest known guy. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, it's a. Uh... Eric with a C. Cole. I mean, like. Oh, let's look at the tea times, actually. That's interesting, right? So. Yeah, I'm going through them all right now. So Hovlin, Fitzpatrick are sort of in the same area. So Fitzpatrick is with Rom, I guess. Yeah, but but it doesn't mean that they're all like. To, I don't mean it has to be all the same group. You know what I mean? Like just okay in the, those vicinities. But I do like the groups in general. Like that does seem to they do play off each other. There's some there's some stuff I've heard that backs that up. Okay, I th I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to do. I, I, I am, I am going to play this way. So I'm going to play 50 lineups straight, and I'm going to play 50 using just you know using the sims using my projections. I'm going to play 50 lineups, leaving some amount of money on the table, and I'm going to play 50 lineups just like max ownership fading, and then the real key. And I'm telling you, this is. I shouldn't say don't do this because I don't actually think it's that bad. I mean, if you're really going to be like a process guy, and I've been doing this in MMA recently, I'm going to put, I'm going to do those three things, and then I'm going to upload my lineups, and I, I don't even think I'm going to look and see who I have. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then when and when the slate locks, then I'll see, then I'll see what I have. Um, but that's probably what I am going to do. Um, How much Siwoo Kim did he, did, it, did, it, did it, what did it give you on that thing? Anything? It depends which 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 one. Like if if, if I was playing good plays, I would get a bunch of him. <laughs> I mean, like he's one. Of, you know, he's, he's a really good play. But when I go max ownership fade, you know, then then I'm fading him too. Yeah. You know. Um. What are the questions you guys got? I mean, uh, my. Unfortunately, the the um, the hockey sweat is going to be going on for way too long because the game is just starting and stuff. So it's not going to not going to really do anything for me. Um, oh, I am in first in this thing, by the way. So that's that's something, but it doesn't really mean all too much. Um, and the mega eights. Let's see where I am. I'm, I'm safe there, right? Yeah, no one's playing anymore. Okay, so so I do get so I do get fortieth in that. You know, so that's you know good for baseball. Um. And uh, Langoliers got zero. There it is. Langoliers got zero. What is the okay? So just so you know, for me tomorrow, I'm going to be doing MMA video tomorrow, and then let's take a look at the at the schedule. Ooh, five games at twelve twenty, and then I, I may be on the road then because I'm going down to LA. Well, there's nothing later then. You know what I mean? Like, uh, oh. th there's, there's no main sl – and the main slate's only two games. Um, I was going to get up at four for the Masters and then head down. Maybe I can get down there for that. Um, yeah, so 12-20. So what I would probably do is just do – depending on your schedule. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to – I would do 11.30 a.m. Um, and just do a live and talk about that slate. And then, yeah. and if, if I can make it in time, I'll, I'll be there. What's that? If I can make it in time, I'll be there. I have a little too much. Like I just have a lot of lineups for the Masters. I'd feel idiotic if something happened, and uh, what and like speed sat out or something. But what does Not that mean? But 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 the, it'll be locked by then. Well, if he sits out, it won't necessarily be right before his tea time. Well, I guess you're right. 
That's fair enough. Maybe I will sleep. Okay, let's do it at eight thirty. Let's do that. No, no, no. What it, oh, I'm talking about your my time, right? My time eleven thirty. Yeah, so that's I was I was saying I was going to be driving to LA at like four at five thirty or so in the morning, which means I, I would be cutting it close, like to make it. But oh, now I'm, oh, okay. I'm just going to change my thing and I'll leave after, and I'm just not going to. Oh, I see. My stuff. Um, and let me see what else. I mean, I, I really no reason to play the NBA, but let's see what the schedule is. Five games NBA like that, NHL full slate. So I'll I'll do some stuff with that, and then. Um, Oh, how was uh, your grandfather today? Oh, it was really good. Good night. Nice. Yeah. And then let me see what else is going tomorrow. The tennis. There's no tennis tomorrow. There's uh, the soccer is UEL. That's We don't play that. No new League of Legends. We're finishing up the two-gamer over there, I believe. So not much. And then, so I'm going to do the MMA video. We'll do the, the the baseball video right after that, and then that will uh, that will do it. Um, as far as NASCAR for this weekend, let me take a look at what that schedule looks like. So there's Trucks Friday, Xfinity Saturday afternoon, and then Cup Series Sunday. I'm sure um, Brandon's going to be all jacked up for all that. Um, and then, uh, hey, maybe I'll play some showdown in the Masters as well. And we got a lot of, a lot of action. So, uh, did you, you miss the FanDuel walkthrough? Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. All right, let's do the same thing, just to show you what it looks like. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. So let let's do a FanDuel build, and we're gonna upload what I have. And just to show you, uh, oh, this is well. Let's 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 not let's not upload let's not upload the hockey. Uh, I mean the uh, the baseball players. That's always a good idea. Fanduel PGA. All right, so let's do the same thing. We'll build uh, 150 lineups. Build settings, 150, and build. And again, you know, I, I don't I don't see any big, you know, pricing discrepancies. Um except to say that in general on FanDuel, you can you can you can play the studs much easier. However, I mean, this week you can play the studs on DraftKings like really easily. So, I'll do it. Let's take a look. All right, we're gonna play Brady Singer tomorrow. Was he eleven K? No, he's facing the Astros, and it just fits my narrative about uh, the Astros. Look, 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 was he ten eight? 10, 8? No, he's eighty two. I was kidding. Yeah. Oh, eighty two. Yeah. Oh my God, are you kidding? It's a lot. What's gonna be 90% owned, you think? Nope, it'll be like three percent owned. <laughs> All right, well, well, dude, he's like there's two chances that I do not play Brady Singer. Slim, <laughs> slim and none. And none just walked out oh, the door. And none and yeah, and none and yeah. And slim went home. <laughs> um I will say, let's look at this, let's look at the uh the pictures on this on this slate, by the way. You have Pablo Lopez, that's a good matchup. Scubel, that's not bad either. Peralta in Cincinnati. Wins get another shot. Hunter Brown against uh how's he been doing this year so far, Hunter Brown? Not so well. Well, whatever. Two two start. Rough, rough start. He was coming back too. He had a little bit of trouble in the offseason. Uh, uh JP Sears is gonna JP Sears is only five thousand, but Ugh. Oh my god, look at look at you, poor JP Sears. Um Nick Martinez, Gray. So Gray will probably get ownership against Oakland, right? He's 6,500. I think so. That's probably a good play. So if I could play I don't think Oakland's a good play. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, well, I mean, we'll take the free square Brady Singer, and then the rest we'll have to just kind of figure out. 
And it is going to be funny because he will be like, no one. Yeah. Have a hey, nice night, man. Congrats. Yeah. I, I, Sheets won attorney tonight. I, I'm, I'm unaware of that fact. You did well, though. Yeah. Let's see what it goes. Um, you're late to the show. You're wondering if you're going to contest for PGA? Yo, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I, 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 I'm trying everything with PGA. Um, I'm definitely coming up with a good place. I'm just doing a very, very, I don't want to say poor job. I'm doing an, an unsuccessful job at creating lineups, I think. So let's, we'll, we'll just see. But the good thing is I haven't had any, like, really bad beats. You know, I didn't come in, like, 21st in anything, you know, which is which is good. That's good. Yeah, That's I, good. Suppose, I suppose. <laughs> <That's almost good. laughs> I guess. So let's see what FanDuel looks like. Scott and Reynald. Mm -hmm. And what's what's Friday? Can, can we be here for a cut sweat Friday? Maybe. Maybe. I, I have a. I may be. At, I may be at the Dodger game on Friday. I'm, I was just going to be okay for live, but I'm not 100. Well, that's sure. cool. Yeah, yeah, it's playing the Padres, so it should be fun. Team I am growing to hate almost as much, if not more, than San Francisco, which I didn't think was possible. The Padres haven't even done anything. I mean, like they they no, they won that one series. That's it. Congratulations! I was there for the two games they won. Unfortunately, right. All right, so let's see. We have uh, so this is what this is what what um, what Fanduel looks like. If I just just go with the projections and and FanDuel, you're getting just a a ton of of the Joaquin Neiman, by the way, um, which is interesting. Oh, I have to not, build the FanDuel in it. Not as much of the, of the Bryson, although you're getting a bunch of that too. Dude, this Bryson thing is like gonna be like the big the big sucker bet of the year, I think. I just don't entirely get it. I mean, I have maybe, some exposure. Maybe, maybe he really is gonna be thirty percent on. I mean, there has been a lot of talk, and it's you know, it's kind of crazy. Um, so, so this is okay. So, you you could either stop here and put these lineups in, or you could do uh, a couple of things. So, first, let's try see. You go min unique. So we'll go min uniques two, min uniques three. This this separates your your you know gives us a little more diversity, and then yeah, listen. Now it's spread out a little more. Uh, but still, Shafle, Neiman, Fleetwood, Rory, Bryson, Scheffler. That's the thing about FanDuel, man. You could literally play whoever you want. I mean, like, um, and McCarthy is is very, very viable over there as well. So let's take a look at the at, at when you're in the contest sim is what you get. Um, I already have the settings in here. Um, we'll actually use Sabre Sim ownership for this one. Run contest sim. You went to the Padres versus your versus Phillies, okay? So okay, Milwaukee is finished. All right, so let's see what this looks like. So again, we we ran the contest sims, and then we just do the drop down, Mega Eagle, risk adjusted ROI, and just to see what the difference would look like. It's a little more spread out. Oh, now Scheffler becomes highest owned. And here's an interesting um, entry exposure, 17%. Pool 34. Yeah, so so I guess the real difference is, is Neiman is showing up, at least on my projections, a little bit better on FanDuel for some, for some unbelievable reason <laughs> because he's more expensive over there. Um but uh yeah, and that's listen, and, and and this is this is the way I would use Sabersim to build these things. Are you some are you concerned about the withdrawal risk for Scotty? Yeah. <laughs> sure. I, I'm I'm concerned about it. I mean, but my my uh late father in law would say, Josh, don't worry twice. You can't don't worry twice. You know, like it's like can't yeah. worry. you know, just uh Either, either, either don't play them or play them, but whatever. And that's 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 fine. And yep. uh, I appreciate that, Mark. Uh, I don't, uh, hopefully, we're getting better every day. We'll see. Um, yeah, it is a little bit different, right? 
But uh, did you end up with any ha- Adam Hadwin in your build by, by any chance? Uh, just interested in what the field's doing. On fan, well, I only because I have FanDuel up here right now. I mean, not really on FanDuel. And and uh, let me just check draft game and see what. Why do I have a six a.m. here? Eight a.m. over there. I, I don't even know. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Build a Hadwin. Um, no, like almost zero. Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't mean he's, <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Um, no, Sky did not withdraw. I don't think. No, no, no. We were just talking. We were just speculating that. If his wife like goes into labor, what what the impact of that would be? Um, the only oh, so so I I wanted to share share the I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to explain this as well as the person explained it, but w- with respect to guys like Spieth, like being injured, um, the, the 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 not the logic, but an explanation I got once which made a little bit of sense is that is that you should ignore these. And, and, and the reason why, especially with the, with the top layers, because like everybody's probably hurt a little bit. And, and, and if you had like a low owned, you know, lesser known guy with the same injury, like it wouldn't even show up as a Q tag. You know what I mean? Like, like a reporter probably wouldn't even ask him about it. You know what I mean? Like, like, for, here's an example. Like like Bacha, all right. He 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 got taped up, right? It, and and they made a big deal of it because he was on national television and and he got taped up, all right. If he did not, if he was not in the playoff, like for example, like let's say that he lost on eighteen, you know, whatever. Let's let's say something happened, or whatever, and and it wasn't a playoff. And they didn't make a big deal of it. He wouldn't even have a Q tag, you know. He would be hurt, and he would either play or he wouldn't. You know what I mean? But but because like Speed, for example, during an interview, it's oh my 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 wrist or whatever it is, like now he's got the Q tag. You like seventy eight golfers out there, and it's very possible that twenty of them are hurt. But because it's not it's not like the NBA, it's not like you have an injury report, and you have to like do whatever. Like people like stumble across these injuries. You know, like, you don't have to like if, if you're like back hurts, you don't have to tell people. I think in golf, you know, there are no like rules on this. And the only time you ever actually see it is when either a reporter just happens to stumble on it or it's like a really well-known golfer who they see limping. Hey, what's wrong with you? Oh, my back hurts. Oh, cute you tag, you know, whatever. So mm-hmm. I just think it's a little bit different in golf. Um, um, yeah, meanwhile, Hideki with his big back injury, he was just perfectly fine last week. You know what I mean? Like, Right. He was perfectly fine. And he had literally no business playing at all if he was, if he was going to be hurt. You know, for stupid prep, a master right? Sport, right? Um, oh, yeah, I keep forgetting that these 10 o'clock games going on right now, which I do not care about, and I'm not watching. All right, I'm going to go. Um, okay. Good luck, everybody, and I'll catch you uh, later on. All right, good luck, buddy.